Now there are two types of travellers. The ones who travel because they don't want to be tied down to one place and they have respect and respect everywhere they stay. Unfortunately, these ones are a myth and only exist in films. The second type have upgraded themselves to the status of ethnic minority and have special protection from the laws of the land. They have decided the world owes them a living and they treat the local community with contempt, leave a path of waste and destruction behind them. The site they are leaving is, or was, a special place for growing wild native flowers. That was until they were trampled on or cut down with strimmers. On a positive note, if you need your roof fixed, new tarmac for your driveway, or garden waste or trees cut down at a reasonable price, they're your man. All waste products will be irresponsibly fly tips to keep costs down and profits up. All work guaranteed until there's a problem. Had it been a group of New Age travellers who had parked up, Do you mean dirty, smelly hippies? Not only would I have been legally allowed to call them dirty, smelly hippies, but the police would have probably arrested them for minor traffic violations and impounded their vehicles as there was no one to drive them away. Back to the Irish travellers. I'd like to see the back of them. So why have these happy Irish travellers upset so many people? Illegal fly tipping is just the tip of the visible iceberg. Break back national service. And you, the humble taxpayer, can pick up the tab. I wasn't expecting that.